Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for March 19th through the 25th. This is for the sign of Capricorn. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and then we will break right into the tarot deck. Generally my weekly readings, I love reading so that's what I'm going to focus on. We will reveal this card at the end, see if it resonates with the reading. What do you have for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? Psst. Bella. Sorry about that. No fear. Moving forward. Get the hell out of my way. All right. So, you know, with the Ace of Swords reversed, there could be a lack in communication, a lack of seeing the truth. Someone could be in denial. Um... Refusing to see the truth. Somebody could be refusing to see the truth. Okay? There's a lack of communication for sure. These are both lack of communication. So, hmm. Somebody might, you might be dealing with somebody who has a hidden agenda. Uh huh. Yes, sir. There's a hidden agenda here. There's some sort of secret. And, you know, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius that is keeping a secret from you. Not sure. Um, yes, there's some lies. There's some lies. You've, you've got some obstacles you're dealing with here, okay? And you're like, I don't want to play this game. Nope, nope. There's some distrust. So there's somebody that you're dealing with that is untrustworthy. Mm. You know, you're sitting back reflecting on it. It's not like you see this. I think you do. I think you see it. I think you're dealing with a player, you're dealing with some sort of player, and you're just sitting back, observing the situation, trying to focus on the next move. You, I think that you see this hidden agenda that somebody has, you know, and you're just, you're taking this time to observe the situation and, and come up with a plan. That's what's going on here. Yeah, whatever's happening isn't making you very happy. And I feel like you've had the best intent, best of intentions in this matter. You have. You had, you know, high hopes for this. And you are acting with integrity and compassion. And I think somebody is doesn't have their your best interests at heart. Your best interests at heart. And so you are probably going to drop this person from your life. Okay, you might be like, you know what? I don't need to have you in my life. I don't need this in my life. I think that you guys are totally seeing the truth of a situation that somebody is, there's some sort of hidden agenda, agenda here, okay? I mean, it doesn't, it looks like there is something, you are being called, you're probably going to need to defend yourself, okay? I think you're going to need to defend yourself because somebody is up to no good. Yeah, somebody may be after your money, and you might have thought that they were that they might have been after love, and they might be just after your money, and you're like, I think that I need to remove you from my life and restore the control. You're not going to take this control from me. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, as well. That is very conceited, self-centered, and greedy all right and they may be like totally they tried to manipulate you which is very hard to do 
And I think that you have been just sitting back, watching. You know, I think this is a fire sign, you know. Um, you've been sitting back and you're like, hmm, I'm just going to take this one step at a time and make sure that I have all my ducks in a row before I uh, kick this person to the curb. Yeah, it's like you're 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 judging the situation. You're going through a period of of making sure. It's like, yeah, yeah. I think that you guys are are being used. You're being used for your money and um, or your stability or your security. And there could be some family feuds. This could even be a family member. And I feel that you are being protected in this matter, and that's why you are be that's why you're becoming aware. That's why you you are aware of this. I feel as though, you know, there was some sort of illusion here. Somebody thought they were going to get away with it. They thought that they were going to be able to manipulate you, but to manipulate a Capricorn is like <laughs> trying to rob a fucking bank. I mean, you have to be completely, highly skilled to do that. So, I mean, whoever this person was, this is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, they, they, they thought that they could do it, but they were highly mistaken, <laughs> okay? So, I feel like this person, it was very, very self-centered, and, um, you know, they... They didn't know how smart you were, put it that way. Unreasonable. You're dealing with somebody who was completely conceited and unreasonable. And, yeah, you've been judging the situation, waiting for the right moment. And I think the right moment could certainly come up this week where you, you know, see the light, okay? You see the light. You see the truth of the situation. And you end this difficulty. It's like, you know what? I ain't going to sit here in the freaking shadows and watch you like an idiot. And, you know, I think you have been. You've been procrastinating. You've been watching, 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 watching this person um, make a fool out of themselves. And I think that this week, you know, you may decide to do something about it, okay? Yeah, I think you've been clinging to the past. You may have been clinging to the situation because there's children involved. Maybe you didn't want to upset the children or you want, still wanted to be around the children or something like that. There's something to do with children here that has been keeping you subdued. And I feel like there could be a, a moment that you absolutely lose your temper and um, restore some control in this situation. Yeah, you guys are moving forward. It's like you guys are mastering your emotions. You're headed in the right direction, and you're taking the lead. There's no doubt about it. I'm the freaking leader here, and I'm not going to be taken advantage of. This is be ta being taken advantage of. You've been taken advantage of. I think it's probably from a fire sign. could be an air sign, and that children could be involved, and I feel like you, you are like... <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. And I feel like you may reject an offer that, you know, you may reject love from this person because of their self-centered greediness. Yeah, it's like, no, I don't think I can move forward in this situation with you anymore. I have to have victory and success in my life, and I like things to be controlled. I like things to be under control, and, I, and I want, I'm trying to... Um, transform my life every single day and you are holding me back and it feels like you may you may speak you may speak up you may this may be harsh there could be some um, challenges that you are facing this week but you know I do see the observation really clearly here you may or may not speak of this this week you may because there's a lot of observation still I'm not, but this is an action card, so hmm. moving away. You could be moving away. You might be moving away from a situation because of self-love, okay? Maybe you, you know, you have to do what's right for you, right? I mean, I see you moving away from a situation that you've been thinking about for a while now. And I feel like it's in pursuit of true love with somebody that... 
accepts reality. Somebody who isn't confused. I can't deal with confusion. And you're looking for excitement and expansion and growth. Now there could be a new opportunity. You may be you may be given a new opportunity in love, you know, this week or next week or whatever. But you gotta let go of whatever it is you're holding on to, okay? Because you're holding on to something that doesn't serve you. So I think that there is an issue here where you have to let go of somebody who has been using you so that you can find true love that allows true growth. Somebody that will invest in you. I think that you, wherever you were at, it was unrealistic. It may have just been sexual, but I can kind of think there's a new partner here. I do. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you you there's no progress where you are at. So this doesn't have to be a new partner. This could be the, somebody that you're dealing with with this no progress, no success, no victory with whoever this person was. Might have just been sexual, you know. And it looks to me like you guys, um, you may have some regrets, okay? You may have some regrets over this loss. There's some sort of loss here. And it's been hindering you. But there's your action card. This is you taking action, becoming fully aware after this period of observation. You ha you know what this is, and I know that you do. There's been a period of observation, okay? And now you may just take action to bring the true victory and success to your life. I feel like you're full of passion, and you're full of love, and you're ready. You're ready for growth. You're ready for... Um, a new beginning and I have to tell you and I see these three ones one 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 we have this ace of wands the magician and the ace of cups that's instant manifestation it's a very fast moving energy I feel like you guys are having some kind of awakening it's a wake-up call and you know I you may decide you know what I have to do what's right for me so that could be self-love and this could be that you love yourself to the point where that I am not going to be taken advantage of. The fool reversed is being taken advantage of. I feel as though you have been taken advantage of, of by someone and you may just open your eyes this week and say goodbye. I'm going to restore control in my life and remove you from it. So it appears to me that you guys, um, also your thoughts become things, really pay, pay attention to your thoughts this week. You are manifested at a highly rapid rate. Things are, things are moving very quickly for you with this Knight of Swords, the Chariot, and these three ones. There's very fast moving energy here, so your thoughts are truly becoming things. You can't, you know, it, even if you, you can't deny your thoughts. They are manifesting at this time. Also, with the eight of Ace of Cups, pay attention to your dreams. Your dreams are trying to tell you something. You should be, you are probably dreaming very vividly at this time, and they are absolutely giving you some answers. So, really pay attention to your dreams at this time and your thoughts. I do see that many of you will be releasing something because this is being willing to release the old to bring in the new. And I really feel that's what's happening here is you have to let go of this obsession with whoever this person is. I think it's a fire sign. Could be any sign, but whatever. You need to let go of it so that you can experience this new love that has a lot of passion. And I do believe that you have an opportunity for new love for those of you that have taken action. Some of you, this is the week of action where you actually remove this I'm trying to say nice word. I'm trying to think of a nice word. You know how I have a problem with that. You know, where you try to remove this um, user from your life, okay? Um, it's time to sever some ties. This is severing ties, okay? It's at the bottom of the deck. You need to sever ties with someone that doesn't have your <clears throat> best interests at heart. They were only offered after you for security and stability, money, something like that. You need to really sever the ties, let go of the regrets, accept this as a loss, and allow this new love, new partnership to come into your life. There is a new love here for those of you that are ready. 
Are you ready for the card? Oh my gosh. The only thing that is real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. This is the switch. Let go of this problem. You're dealing with somebody who is a problem. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. Isn't it time? It's time for self-love. It's time for you to find true love. Whoever this is that is not doing their part, who is not, you know, who is using you, needs to go. That magician card says it's time to take action. Shed the past. Use the resources within you to shed the past. There's somebody that you, there's somebody or something or whatever that needs to go. So that you can find this true love that's here or around the corner or coming in soon. But if you're still holding on to somebody that is like totally conceited and greedy and totally doesn't have your best interests at heart, then, you know, that's your problem. Talk to you later.